important. This video is an excerpt from my video entitled Neftali 1981 Punched Out Part 2. The reason I put this video up is because TJ Brook 88 is spreading the exact same lies that the Mighty Wit Ministry is worshipping Jezebel. She's calling the Holy Spirit that is working through this ministry a Jezebel and says that the Shekinah glory of God is a demon. Enemies like TJ Brook 88 and Neftali 1981 that speak the exact same lies are recruiting people for Satan by manipulating their viewers to repeat their lies after them without studying showing themselves approved. I'm about to show you in this video how it's blaspheming the Holy Spirit if anybody calls the spirit in this ministry a Jezebel. Don't let these people deceive you. Blasphemy of the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. Now what I'm going to say is probably one of the most important messages of this entire video. Because Neftali, on top of the mind control, the manipulation and the slander up until now, is now, after he has snatched the trust and the hearts of the viewer, going to involve the Holy Spirit. And he's bringing up this issue that the Mighty Wood Ministry believes and teaches that the Holy Spirit is feminine. And if you have listened closely, he leaps it out that the Mighty Wind says that the Holy Spirit is a woman. No, we do not say that. The Holy Spirit is feminine. It's a lie right there. A Mighty Wind Ministry believe this. Many Jews believe this. Many Israelites know this is true simply because the word Ruach HaKodesh which is Hebrew for Holy Spirit, is a feminine noun, is a feminine word. The truth is as simple as this. In the original Hebrew manuscripts, the Holy Spirit was referred to as she. If you go to scriptureforall.org and you look at the Hebrew versions of the Holy Scriptures that are available, you will see again and again, specifically in the Old Testament, that the Holy Spirit of God is referred to as she over and over and over again and it is quoted over and over again for your benefit for you to learn and study by Yas Little One in her video that was entitled whose image was Eve made in okay now the original Hebrew manuscripts must have had also in the New Testament the Holy Spirit being referred to as she because that is even part of their spelling and grammar rules. But the Hebrew scriptures were translated into Greek. Where the Holy Spirit was being referred to as she in Hebrew, the Greek became it. Incorrectly. From the Greek, they translated it into English, and selfish men with selfish reasons and motivations changed it into the incorrect he calling the Holy Spirit a he. Now, this generation is not held accountable for not knowing that because we didn't know better. Okay, it is also not a salvation issue. But this is how simple the truth is. Many Jews, many Messianic Jews, many Israelites know that the Holy Spirit is feminine. Do they therefore worship the Jezebel spirit? Are they therefore not talking about the real Holy Spirit of God? No, of course not. It is absurd to say such a thing. And if you would have studied to show yourself approved, and if Neftali wouldn't suppress the teachings and the explanations that we give of what we believe and teach, you would see that it is ridiculous to call the Holy Spirit in the mighty wind Jezebel based on because we believe that the Holy Spirit is feminine. Even in the Old Testament of your King James Bible, you can see that wisdom and the Holy Spirit, who is the spirit of wisdom, who is also called all wisdom, the Holy Spirit is all wisdom, is being referred to as she again and again and again. Does it therefore make the spirit of wisdom, the Holy Spirit, a Jezebel spirit? No, of course not. It is stupid, absurd, and ridiculous to say such a thing, and it is dangerous. Because even though this is not a salvation issue, it originally wasn't a salvation issue, because it is your choice whether you believe the Holy Spirit is uh, masculine or feminine. It is not a salvation issue because only through the name and blood of Yeshua, the Son of God, do we enter heaven. Not through believing if the Holy Spirit is uh, masculine or feminine. But, 
It becomes a salvation issue if you refuse to study and show yourself approved and repeat Naphtali's lies after him that the Holy Spirit is Jezebel in the Mighty Wind Ministry or that somebody who believes and teaches that the Holy Spirit is feminine is talking about the Jezebel spirit and must be a false prophet. This becomes blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. There is no reason to say such a thing and Naphtali knows this and he wants you to be recruited to repeat those same lies after him to say that anybody who is talking about the Shekinah glory of God which means the dwelling place of God referring to the Spirit of God is talking about Jezebel. If you allow Naphtali's lies to penetrate your soul to believe that the Spirit in the Mighty Wind is Jezebel and you actively proclaim that and you teach others the same you are blaspheming the Holy Spirit you are damning your own soul all because you didn't even take the time to study and show yourself approved the truth is simple you don't have to believe that the Holy Spirit is feminine but if you mock the truth if you aggressively oppose the truth and teach others to do the same, you are warring against God. If you touch God's Spirit, if you grieve God's Spirit with your blasphemies, by listening to these wolves in sheep's clothing like Naphtali, then you will lose your soul. You are endangering and damning your own soul. This is a great warning. Study and show yourself approved. And see that people that believe the Holy Spirit is feminine are not there for worshipping Jezebel. No Jezebel spirit would lead people to Yahushua, the Son of God, teaching them to obey the Ten Commandments and to flee from sin. No Jezebel spirit would do such a thing. It is utter blasphemy. Only the Holy Spirit of God testifies that Yahushua, the Son of God, is God, who came in the flesh, who died and arose again, went up into heaven, and only through His name and blood, believing in Him and repenting of our sins, which means turning away from our sins, being covered with His blood, we make it to heaven, obeying all ten of His commandments. No Jezebel spirit would teach you these things. A Jezebel spirit is not holy. A Jezebel spirit is about slander. When you look at Naphtali, he is slandering, lying, manipulating, twisting the truth, teaching you false doctrine, covering it up, using, you, using his voice and music to play on your emotions, to give you false messages. He doesn't preach the commandments of God. He doesn't keep the Sabbath day holy. And all kinds of other things I could mention. He is connected to Satanists, he's connected to, to crooks for pastors, and all these things he does. If there is anybody filled with the Jezebel spirit, it's he. Naphtali is describing what he himself is doing, but he reverses the truth to apply that to God's people. And remember that in the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 17, it is said that in these last days, the devil, the dragon, who is robbed with the woman, went to make war with her and the remnant of her seed, which are God's people, who keep the commandments of God, have the testimony of Yeshua. This man is teaching you to persecute, ridicule, mock, and slander the true commandment-keeping children of God, while he himself breaks all of God's Ten Commandments, yet wants to tell you that he's walking in the love of Christ. This man is a deceiver, and he's working for Satan. He's representing the dragon on YouTube. He's an occult giant. You had better be warned. You had better rebuke him if you had believed his lies. In the name of Yeshua, rebuke this man for the sake of your very soul.